Hi Aries, welcome to my channel Aries. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Aries. This reading for today Aries, this is a love reading. This is a love message for the Aries sign. Thank you so much Aries for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Aries for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, please do click the bell and click the subscribe button, okay? This is a love message. This is a love reading for the sign of Aries, please. I am tapping into the end of April uh, up until May and June, okay? This is a love energy reading for the Aries sign. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is a love reading. This is a love message for you, Aries. Thank you guys for your support. I want you to think about your person. Think about your romantic situation. Let's tap into this energy and let's see how they think about you. How they feel towards you. And their true intention. And what, what is most likely the future of your connection, Aries. What can I get for the Aries sign? What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Aries sign, please. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> if I will be able to pick up a specific timeline, I will let you know. And so we start your reading. So you, we, you're starting the reading you're starting the reading Aries with a full card. You have the Page of Wands and you've got the Chariot card in here. Um, the person that is connected to you energetically in a love energy is actually very in love with you. This person, they're crazy in love with you. With the Page of Wands and the Chariot card. This person is the full card in the past it means that they were uh, love at first sight crazy in love with you it's possible Aries that this person is chasing you the full card in here um, the full card in the page of wands the boundaries it's also possible Aries that you were put off to this person because you could feel the intensity of your connection you could feel that you could really feel that this person really really likes you they might not be able to verbalize it to you but if you look at the way they take a risk the way they put effort it's obviously obviously they really like you okay um there's boundaries and if you look at the boundaries in here there's a metal heart so your person is in love with you i feel like this is even like a love at first sight but they don't say it Okay, your person doesn't say it. There's a page of wands. The connecting energy between you and your person is a page of wands in the past. So it doesn't match. Your person, they have lots of feelings, but they, they're only expressing a page. Okay, it doesn't represent the entirety of what they feel towards you. Yeah, I feel like this person is blocking it. You know, this is your person and this block okay and this is what you don't like about this person is that you could feel the deep interest of them towards you but they don't say it they don't say it they do act in some way that it makes you happy of the effort it makes you happy of the attention but what you don't like about this person is that they have boundaries and also they keep like they keep leaving you second guessing so the person might have acted in such a way that it's confusing for you because you're very straightforward you want to know what what you know like i want to know where we stand so it's possible you are it's it's possible aries that you ask this person okay I could feel with the page of wands and the chariot card you versus them i could feel that you have asked them um you possibly confronted them and 
I could I, I'm hearing the word drama so you might find this person dramatic or you might have felt like this person is holding at to holding holding it in too much and you went it you went into a chariot card the chariot card is like you, you kind of disappear okay you know with the boundaries and serendipity <clears throat> the abundance card <clears throat> I think I don't think you're mad or angry with them of whatever they've done I don't think this is a third party I don't think so in fact you felt like with the chariot card you felt like you and this person you've got so much excuse <coughs> Um, you felt like you have so much potential you and this person you, you guys have so much potential but if they're just going to play Cupid or hold back you might as well just distance yourself because you're very ready so I think you you've decided to distance yourself with this person I don't think you're angry I don't think you're angry you're you're simply protecting your energy with this person you've You've distanced yourself, you move away in the hope that you moving away or you disconnecting will allow this person to think carefully of what they want to happen between you and them. So I don't think you're angry. It's more of like you figure it out because you can feel the intensity. Like they actually have deeper feelings towards you versus you to them, but they're keeping it in so there's so much there's so much fear okay i don't think your person is going through shadow it's more of like fear okay fear of falling in love or fear of falling in love and getting hurt so it's it's a bit of that right now so tapping into their current energies aries um I could feel that you're manifesting this person your door is still open for this person to come back you know this is you versus them with the ace of wands because you ended up with a manifestation card an abundance card like it's it's a vibe where I like you as a person but I don't like what you're acting towards me so you've kept it you 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 were somehow wishing and hoping that this person would find the courage to express their feelings because they can they can say it like you could read you can read between the lines of their action but somehow you know we need to be clear with our communication we cannot just assume so you want to hear you want to hear something from them um so right now the current energy of your person um ending April month moving towards May and June let's look into that you have the ace of wands like what I said you're very open to them with the ace of wands you've opened your heart you've opened your mind your door is open to this person in fact you might have stalked this person you might have it's possible areas that you've been looking up their social media you're kind of being nosy what are they up to you're still very much interested open heart open door okay I could hear that very clearly you're still single Aries with the Hierophant card and the moon card I would say you're still developing feelings with this person there's a part of you that you made the right choice I would say because you made the right choice in the sense that you're protecting your energy like okay you're not ready for me I'm gonna go there I'll protect my energy because before you get frustrated you did the right thing I think up until this now up until this point Aries you're somehow reminding yourself to with the Hierophant card and the moon card uh, you're reminding yourself that fall in love like you're reminding yourself in terms of romantic energy you're really disciplining yourself um, to not just fall in love like control your feelings because you like you love the person possibly but they're not in the right alignment so you're telling yourself I would love for you that could be your manifestation because I could feel that I would love for you to come back I would accept you if you're ready because in the past they weren't so you're still developing feelings or you could still develop feelings for them but it's very much depending on if they're ready because you know 
the disadvantage of dealing with the disadvantage of dealing with people who is going to dating and getting to know and emotionally unavailable it frustrate it will frustrate us and it if if this person if it if it will frustrate us it could be transfer transferable to to people that we work with the people that we talk with so for you you've kind of realized that that moving away from the source of your you know the source of your affection that is not ready for you is a healthy thing boundaries okay so the hierophant card and yeah the, like i like your vibe right now i really like your vibe energy because you're accepting that the one you know the person that i'm interested with is emotionally unavailable so i'm just gonna stay here in my zone until he or she's ready so you're manifesting them at the same time and you're manifesting them in such a way that <clears throat> they would move forward to you with confident you want them to be confident not just in action by words too so you're doing a lot of improvement in terms of your love energy in here i like your energy aries now your person is manifesting you too okay the high priestess this could be a Scorpio because <clears throat> the Ace of Wands, the connecting energy between the two of you is the Queen of Cups. So you're manifesting that they return and they're emotionally available. Your person is manifesting you, okay? Your person is manifesting you and at the same time, they're learning how to say it, how to express your feelings. So the person that is on your mind is definitely regretting F regretting it for not being very expressive okay yeah dating look at that the person that is on your mind Aries is definitely very sad and regretful that they weren't able to verbalize why they were doing that they would like to date you again your person is studying to express their feelings your person realize right now especially with you know we just had the full moon in Scorpio the full moon in Scorpio it has been the full moon in Scorpio completed the understanding the spiritual understanding and awakening of your person and also your manifestation towards them it has helped them to make it more like your person it's a good vibe okay let me just download it for you aries you're with the you know with the influence of the scorpio full moon and your good manifestation it has or your person has felt it and with the dating it made them feel very comfortable okay so your person is is and um, is regretful of not being able to express or enjoy or dive deeper into your dating and getting to know and at the same time they also realize that now I know where I went wrong and it's through their expression of interest towards you so your person with the touch of the full moon in Scorpio and we are moving away from the Mercury retrograde expect your person to be more direct with their feelings and verbalize it so your manifestation of them is contributing your energy because if you look at the ace of wands this is you okay this is your ace of wands look at that your ace of wands is like a tower okay and you're emitting the right manifestation to attract this person and not only that but because you're open for them to come back your energy is wrapping this person and making them comfortable to you know uh, break their silence step into their confident be like move forward with confident towards you because that's what you want because I think in the past you gave it you know you gave all the signs yeah exactly creativity your person is into expression of interest and creativity I like the vibe of your person right now and how it's going to move forward between May and June. Now, look at your person in the immediate future, the King of Swords. So your person in the immediate future, 
I think what they're gonna do if they can your person if they cannot say it face to face they're gonna say it in text so this person if I think they're still coming out of their comfort zone so this person will possibly if they cannot say I miss you in person this person will say it, I miss you in text but they will be bold yeah four of cups your person I think they have a lot of emotional I think your person is really gonna try to come out of their emotional um, boundaries and one of the ways of input one of one of the improvement that you would see with your person is that if they cannot say it if they can't s say their feelings verbally they will message it to you with the four of cups and the king of swords they're gonna try they'll try Aries I would say and you are the six of pentacles I'm seeing you giving them a chance or at least this is advice to you is that you could feel sincerely that they're trying so give them a chance because there's nothing lo there's nothing to lose and when this person comes back into your life you have no one uh, you, you're, you're still single so there's nothing to lose in here you could feel their sincerity you could feel they're trying and I guess this is like if you manage to be together this will be your soulmate they're halfway through your soulmate like you will be the one that healed them the one that made them comfortable with love again Aries wow it's quite it's quite romantic and deep um, so this is what I have for you Aries thank you so much for connecting with me thank you so much for spending time with me if you would like to further connect with me Aries click the bell and click the subscribe button Aries and I'll see you soon again guys you have a great day